But let's go and see how Twitter reacted to the game yesterday. Oh, We've liked some, there so are some <laughs> many tweets. So I think this could be a bit of a long episode for you guys. But let's start off with this one from Anderton Mabbott, uh, the Sunday roast with. Um, <laughs> I love that because we'll, we'll get. It. I think Absolutely there is a brilliant. clip of it after with Madison with what he said after the game. But they asked him about, did you see Bakayo uh, Saka's celebration? He's like, yeah, yeah, I saw them doing. Uh, I saw him doing the dart celebration, and he must have still been doing that dart celebration when I spun him uh, for the goal. And and that's just basically uh, what that is uh, made on Photoshop. So lovely stuff there. Brilliant. Um, Next down from Hotspur related to Sonny celebrating in front of the Arsenal fans. Oh. And that is basically a remake of the Deli Alley and Chelsea I, one. I love these pictures when you just zoom in on these angry Arsenal fans, like swearing him and he's just, oh, I love it. I love, these yeah. are like my favourite pictures on these occasions. I just love these angry Arsenal fans' faces. There's a bit of racism so in there as well, which we yeah, no like to see. That's horrible. Absolutely horrible. Um, next up from Hotspur related as well saying Ange Postacoglu has already recorded more points away at Arsenal than three of his predecessors Mourinho Espirito Santo and Antonio Conte connected between them and that was from The Athletic uh, Data MB this is the um between Basuma and Rice. So you can this see season. he's clearly uh, performing better this season. And that is uh, Yves Look Basuma. That. Oh, beautiful. Lovely graph that is. And that, that's, that's what I was saying coming into this game as well. Like Declan Rice can only dream of doing some of the things that Yves Basuma does in a football pitch. 100%. He's like the, the ball carrying ability. He's just not capable of what, what Basuma is capable of. And you've got to remember as well, Basuma has only really been starting for Spurs for six games now. Imagine like after like 20 or 30 games, like and when he's you know more settled as well. Like it's, I think he's going to go from strength to strength, and I love it. What Ange keeps saying, he's like, "We're just at the infancy in what we're doing." Like, if this is the infancy, like, what is the finished product going to look like? I don't know. Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I agree. Um, Jacko says once again, magnificent in a big game. Vicario is different. Absolute Rolls Royce of a keeper. We're so lucky to have him here, and absolutely spot on because I was um, one of the fans that were kind of like, "Oh, I'm not sure about this guy. He looked dodgy in the Brentford game, and he looked." a bit dodgy in pre-season but I could not be happier with what he is what he's showing what his goalkeeping abilities are showing mm. like and I don't think anyone apart from if you've watched Empoli uh, week in week out last season thought like how good this guy is actually going to be yeah, 100%. And it was actually an interesting subplot, which hasn't really talked about because there was obviously Raya in goal for Arsenal, who we nearly got yeah. in the summer. And um, and Vicario was in goal for us. It was a bit of a battle of the goalkeepers that we could have had. Both played well, to both, be fair. Both did play very well. But look, Vicario definitely, I wouldn't say was better than him, but was just as good and for half the price. How much was right. Vicario? 20 mil? 17. 17 mil. So Bad. for him, 17 mil. Vicar uh, David Raya, they wanted 40 million for, yeah. I mean... I'm much more happy with Vicario for 17 mil than Raya for 40, that's for sure. Even though Raya is a very good keeper in his own right and probably mm. made the save of the game yesterday as well. True. Um, this is from Hotspur Irish. Different gravy for Mickey van de Ven. And he really was he different gravy different yesterday. different gravy. I couldn't put it better myself. Um, next up is from Jersey Spurs and every they're saying tag yourself in this and that is the scenes what a picture uh, James Madison celebrating his assist like a oh, goal oh you see to the left there's Dicko straight if you look at Madison's head just a oh, bit yeah. to the left he's yeah, right yeah, there yeah. absolutely <laughs> love that absolutely yeah. love the oh, these are my favourite pictures when you just got a moment in, to capture a moment in time oh it's absolutely and that brilliant. is what you call pure limbs yeah, that literally. is the definition of limbs yesterday <laughs> Um, I know it's rich of me to say this, but not a phone inside. <laughs> <laughs> Very rich. Um, and this is just basically the video of the limbs uh, from Daily Hotspur. And just look at that. Oh, phenomenal. <laughs> you say not a phone inside until you just just pan a bit to the left and you'll see a phone. <laughs> is that right? Is that, are we there? <laughs> no, we're not no. in that one. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Look at that. There were some great away limbs yesterday. You've got to say. Limbs of the season, that's for sure. Uh, this is uh, Billy Keynes uh, in the um, away end yesterday with his brand new flag. And it was, don't you know, pump it up. The Arsenal f it up. Oh, <laughs> love I love that. it. Absolutely. <laughs> so we well, wish we could have got that going yesterday. That would be great. Yeah, I did try. But uh, <laughs> anyway, Luke says, Adogi completely locked up Saka in general play for his first North London derby. And being 20 years old is not bad going. Fantastic player. I mean, he... 
I thought he struggled against Saka in the opening stages of the game, but once he kind of got to the grips of the game and the rhythm of the game and the speed of the game, that's absolutely true, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, I think so. And that's even more impressive, the fact that he was struggling. Like He didn't take confidence of having a good opening. Like He struggled and he didn't let him get to him and mm. then he ended up excelling. And uh, this is uh, the Hyung Min Son passion, which I was talking about in the player ratings. Look at that. Oh. Look at that passion from Hyung Min Son. I absolutely love it. God, oh man, what a guy, our captain. This is from Bardi, um, showing two, uh, this was the sending off from Emerson Royale last year at the Emirates, and this was in Ketia uh, this year at the Emirates. One was a sending off, one wasn't. You yeah, tell me which one. Exactly, exactly. I definitely think in Ketia got very, very lucky, very lucky. And that's uh, we did well. well. Let's be honest, with a lot of decisions they just didn't go away. Yes, yeah. they did. They and still, even though that they didn't go away, we still came away with the result. It did seem like twelve against eleven at times yesterday with yeah. that referee. Yesterday, I, we haven't talked about the referee. I didn't think he had a good game. No. I didn't think he had a good game at all. We, we say this at the end of every game. That's now. also true. Yeah, it's also true. Um, Tottenham tears. Hyung Min Son oh, shushing the Arsenal. That fans. is a cold picture. That's <laughs> a cold picture. I love it. And there was one uh, a couple of years back of Eric Dyer doing it, but this one just means so much more. Yeah, because he learned up losing that game. Yeah. <laughs> well. yeah, exactly, that was great. Um, this one, uh, someone stuck a Tottenham stick <laughs> on the I back of an that. Arsenal That fan. is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So someone took a picture brilliant. of saying who did that. So he must have been walking around with that for a while. That is brilliant. <laughs> that is absolutely brilliant. Um, this I hope was, he's still got it on him now. He I probably really does. He, <laughs> this was uh, Vicario on Instagram saying another strong performance from the boys. Unbeaten, travelling fans were superb again. Come on, you Spurs. Big up, big Vic. George Achillia saying, happy with the draw, but looking back, I still don't understand how it wasn't a red. He doesn't need to make contact with his studs for it to be a red card. It was extremely late, reckless, and Vicario's foot was already planted when Enketia went through him. Yeah, it was just a re it was a reckless challenge. And what, they're basically saying he has to break his leg for it to be a red at this point, yeah. honestly. Very, very lucky. Um, and the Spurs web, my captain, another cold picture from Hyung Min Son jumping in front of the oh. Arsenal fans. Another one I can of those watch I can watch, look at these pictures all day, honestly. Yeah, They're absolutely. so good. Um, simply Spurs saying Saka trying to mug off Madison with the darts. <laughs> he just keeps missing the triple. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Um, and the, oh, this one was great. This oh, can one we have sound Curtis on this? Shaw yesterday um, celebrating the Arsenal Let, goal. Hey, people, yeah, he's people. Being, he's on, being all, all, uh, he's being all smug with second. the dart hold, celebration. Hold on, hold on, people. Oh, it's so good. There's a few of these hey, from hey, Arsenal hey, fans hey, going bullseye. on. Bullseye. Oh, hey, God. Madison. Hey, Madison. <laughs> How you doing, bro? How you doing? Let's go now. Let's start playing. How can yeah, anybody any say that's not a penalty? Am I missing something? That's a blatant penalty. Anyway, oh my god, oh, oh my god, Jorginho's lost the ball, 2v1, <laughs> son, scores, Jorginho, <laughs> you fraud, you're a Chelsea fan, you stupid old man, oh my god, you didn't even, oh brilliant, oh angry gooners, there's nothing Inject better, that. there is Inject nothing better, that. Um, Spurs Express saying Tottenham captain Hume Min Son now scored five goals in his last three games playing a striker. He's now only five goals apart from matching his goal record from last season with 32 games left to play. For Miss Temporary, class is permanent. Who said Son was finished? Name yourselves. Can Name and score, shame. Can he score more goals this season than he did in his Golden Boot season? Yeah, why not? I think 100%. Why not? Why not? Um, sports financial planners saying Vicario's parents sat in front of me lovely people when they joined in the songs as the games went on oh, so lovely it's great moment for him we need uh, a song for Vicario we don't have a song for him yet do we yeah we, we do it's do we? Vicario Vicario we need a better song than that <laughs> we need a better song than that um, Basuma's game against Arsenal by numbers, 94% pass accuracy, 71 touches, 51 out of 54 passes completed, 6 out of 9 ground duels won, 4 out of 4 tackles won, 4 ball recoveries, 1 out of 1 aerial duels won, and 1 out of 1 dribbles completed. A dominating performance from Big Eve up. Basuma. Big Lovely up, stuff. Man. And this is my dog, Lily, uh, fully coised yesterday. <laughs> and as I put that yeah. spur scarf on her after the game, She's and loving she life. loved every second oh, of it. Of course. Yeah. I bet she <laughs> celebrated every goal. <laughs> yeah, she did. Um, Spurs Express, Captain Hyunmin Son on the result. When you go to the changing room after the game, the players were not really happy because they want to win. And that is the mentality that we want from our captain. And that is the mentality that we want from the squad as well. Exactly. For all the Arsenal fans saying we celebrated like we won a cup, we're, we're literally 
literally saying we're disappointed with the results. So, look, I think that's the, that's the right mentality. Yeah. Uh, well, these videos look like they've been deleted, so we'll go down. Curtis Shaw, uh, we've Never shown seen that one. already. This one, oh, uh, this is oh my Tottenham God. confidential. Tottenham. Uh, Captain Human Son made Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta literally cry today with the second equaliser for Spurs, wiping away tears. No need for oh, the Snapchat in lens for tonight, this. fellas. Inject <laughs> that reaction. Stop he knew. Crying. The thing is, he, he was crying because he he knows if you you can't give Madison the ball there, he knows what's going to happen. He knows that it's going to end up in the back of the net. That's exactly what happened. Wipe away those tears, Mikel. <laughs> Brilliant. And I felt Mikel just got it completely wrong at times yesterday as well. Um, <laughs> Lee McQueen saying Ange uh, this quote from Ange if we continue down this road we can compete against the best and why not why not and I, I mean, can't, I can't wait for Ange to lead us into the Champions League oh, how good is that going to be oh man don't need, I'm not getting head too ahead of myself just yet but look why not why not um, why can't we do it this Spurs season? Army saying easiest the limbs of the season and we've had some limbs this season as well but we yeah have. 100% that second goal limbs was just insane yesterday exactly at the Emirates oh my god nothing better that. than limbs at the Emirates it's not, it's not often but no. it's nothing better yeah um, this one I mean you've got to wait for the advert to finish but uh, it's not on there so it's uh, Madison after the game <laughs> listen to what he says it's absolutely brilliant quick 5 by one of Ali Pali against the Pirates <laughs> 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 his action was terrible though, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> his action was terrible uh, THFC Cooty says his first North London derby and he did not oh, disappoint must have been a deleted tweet I think um, all right, well, just go to the one below that and talk about Paul Merson. We haven't mentioned Paul Merson. He said Arsenal are going to absolutely batter Spurs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said uh, if Spurs come and play their football, there's no chance. They're just going to get slaughtered. They can't come here and play and, and, and open up like that because you're just going to get absolutely slaughtered. And that is the moment. When I first saw that, that is the moment I grew in confidence in this game because he is <laughs> always wrong. Always. Always. He's never got one right. Uh, Tottenham Hotspur saying Sonny is fully coised. Of course he is. I think they were just copying my tweet about Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um, and then this was the cold celebration again from Hyung Min Son. I can watch this celebration over and over again. And this was okay. the celebration after the celebration because he celebrates with his team and then he just takes a moment with the Spurs fans. And that is what you call a leader. Look at that. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, football confidential Arsenal showed today versus Spurs that despite oh, this is the uh, the one I was talking about off air with um, and you got to play this you got to play this you win at all costs hello mate hello mate, hello, mate. <laughs> oh my loving mate oh, I love Big Ange so much he's so good for the memes brilliant um, Spurs Web saying Human Son is the first ever Tottenham player to score twice in a Premier League North London derby at the Emirates. A big up Human Son. This is uh, Egal. If you watched our pre-match content this with the Arsenal fans, him being humble, he's yeah, saying admitting exactly. he was wrong. He said Arsenal two, Spurs two. I was wrong. Son, James Madison, and Ange Postecoglou all back the shit talking they were doing before the game. And go on, let's play this on full volume. Go on, you can watch. Arsenal boys let me down today. Let's see him eating some I'm humble give pie credit to before the game. After the you game, guys played well. Son said, "You guys don't want to play us." He scored two goals. Madison said, right. spoke about not wanting to play Tottenham. He got two assists. Your manager said they were going to stick to their principles. No, I, I respect that. To be fair, coming out admitting when you you're admitting you're wrong, not not a doubling day, down or anything like that. Like what I don't like is like I made a lot of claims. Arsenal fans like all of a sudden game, talking be that oh it's injuries, all it's blah, like blah, no, blah, blah, blah. you talk you talk shit. You said you're going to win wrong, five one, and now you have to take it. I was watching I was watching Robbie's fan cam yesterday, and he was like, oh no excuses, the injuries. We're not going to make any excuses for it. And then straight after he was like, oh but we had injuries. You can't say you have the best squad in the league and it's improved and then. And all of a sudden, I was injuries. No, can't give me that. Can't give yeah. me that. Um, but look, there's nothing better than seeing Arsenal fans humbled. 100%. Nothing better at all. Uh, that's again Lily. Um, next up is Madison oh, and Sonny doing the Sonny celebration what at the picture. Emirates. Lovely stuff. Oh, um, and then that picture. was Cameron Sims saying that's the best picture he's ever taken. Lee McQueen um, bringing up some stats about Arsenal. I know it's, Mars, it's the Merson clip. It's the Merson uh, clip. It's the Merson clip again. We can breeze past that. And the limbs again. I think we can watch it one, one more no, time. No, we can never not watch the limbs. <laughs> Can't get enough of the limbs. <laughs> limbs um, at the Emirates. Nothing better. Nothing better. Look at that. Oh, class. Just absolutely love it, man. 
Come Absolutely watch it all day. Come it. watch it all day. Literally. Uh, Papi Matasa just giving clapping emoji and a white heart to, to the Tottenham tweet saying your support was unbelievable and it most definitely was. Um, back again with the Enketia challenge on Vicario. How was that not a red? I don't know. Uh, but let's watch this James Madison clip uh, talking after the game to Spurs media, Spurs play. Yeah, he was talking, um, yeah, this one, is, is a bit is about... A bit um... dance celebration banter going on, I gather. Mm. Yeah, me and Vicario <laughs> had a bit of banter and a bit of... Uh... This is a bit where he talks about like Saka. Uh, apparently, they movie. can't hear. Um, oh, they can't hear it. And I, I got told that he did the dart celebration. Oh, uh, he must have. We not be able to hear anything. Goal, <laughs> oh, shame. So, Sorry, um, guys. Yeah. I'll have a little word with him in there. Um, yeah. All right, we'll breeze past the videos then. But Premier League panel saying top top draw from James Madison plays the initial long pass to progress the ball from deep to find Kulusevski in behind, then follows up in the next phase by beating Saka in a one v one out wide, assisting Son. He's dangerous in so many zones, and that's absolutely spot on because actually a lot of people talk about how dangerous he is in the final third, but no one talks about how consistently he's dropping deep, picking up the ball, his off the ball work as well, and just providing for us in all areas of the pitch. Yeah, he's been so good in the build up, which has also been something that I've really underestimated when we signed him, how good he was going to be in those situations. So I've been so impressed with that 100%. Um, we'll breeze past that tweet from Big Guadalope, but we'll go down to the Spurs Express saying James Madison on Bakayo Saka. He must have still been doing the dart celebration when I turned him for the first goal. I just yeah. love that from Madison. He's quote. just full of banter, isn't he? Brilliant. And this was him sending Saka back to uh, South London as well with the tweet below it. Those two images. Whoop. And oh, where are you go. going? Where are you going, Saka? <laughs> Um, this one was uh, Mickey van der Ven looks like a cracking piece of business from Spurs. Young, athletic, huge frame and top pass, a top carrier and can defend in wide areas 1v1, covering transitions, pretty two-footed, defended the box brilliantly at times today. The real deal, proper and sentimental. That's from a Man United fan. More. And that's from a Man United fan. There you go. Uh, Flav saying how many Arsenal players get into the Tottenham side <laughs> <laughs> after all those combined 11s every, all the, all, every combined 11 started how many Spurs players get into the Arsenal side all these arrogant people but yeah brilliant from Flav um, yeah, we've been through these ones. Uh, Premier League panel again saying Basuma's second half performance, by the way, sensational. Most composed midfielder on the pitch. Arsenal's press was hot and he provided the calming release on so many occasions. 100%. I, yeah, I completely agree with that. I thought in second half he was absolutely sensational. Yeah, and that was, and these are just a few clips of Basuma's passes. We'll just go through that. If you want to go and have a look at it, it's on our like Hugo, tweets. Hugo Films 28. Um, Cody Mack uh, showing a tweet from DT saying time to put the Swamp Dellers back in their place on Sunday no but I think he's more looking at the, the reply as well the reply he's, saying I just <laughs> you can read that one yourself I don't need to read out that one for you um, Mitch Fretton saying I wasn't fully convinced but now I am Eve Bissouma is better than Declan Rice 100% 100% and that's what we were saying coming into this game and no one wanted to believe us yeah, yeah, I I agree. I think I I think when it comes push comes to shove, I think um, Basuma is a better player. Um, I don't know why that one's been liked. Okay, Fuad saying uh, been a solid first oh, no, half. Uh, this was just before the game, but let's just show Troy Parrott's goal at the end of this. By the way, yeah, why not? Troy Parrott's first goal out in the era Divisi. lovely goal as well. Look at this, Troy Parrott on loan. Edge of the box. Whoa, Lovely Look finish. at that. Lovely look at that. Finish. Let's hope that's the first of many for Troy. Uh, but there, there you have it. That is the way Twitter reacted to the game yesterday. Two all at the Emirates. Bit disappointing we didn't come out with all three points, but still a performance to take a lot of pride in uh, from Ange Postacoglu and the boys. But I think that brings an end to the stream for you guys today. A nice two-hour stream post-North London derby. So thank you, everyone, for joining us today. 